Big fatty girls, boys, and everyone in between, welcome back to Antics with Ash. I have my absolute angel here today with me, Georgia Wood. Oh, my God. Hello, everyone. Hello, gorgeous. I'm so excited to be here. I'm really happy to have you here. It's only right. It's only right. For those of you that don't know, me and G... We go, go way back. Oh, God, we go way back. As in, I'm so upset that you didn't introduce me as what I'm saved as on your phone. <laughs> So, no, George is saved on my phone as G Lesbian T. G Lesbian T. That doesn't even make sense to the normal viewer. I see. Basically, if we, if something's T, we, that's good. You know, like, people are like, that's the T. Like, so we just say it for anything at this point, though. As but, in, like, I'll be like, oh, that's T. And it's yeah. like, talking about the most horrid thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It basically, it's so universal now that everything's T. Yeah. But it's just the way you say it. So if you go, oh, fucking hell, that's T. Yeah. That, like, it's bad. Yeah, it used to be just like, oh, that, that's the tea, baby. And yeah. now we've taken it to new levels. We get one word in our head. And, and then that's it. And that's it. And we it's butcher it. We yeah. butcher it for three years. <laughs> <laughs> it literally is three years. Yeah, it three is. Three years going strong. How long have I known you for? So long. <laughs> no, yeah, I'd we, say about has... four years now. Do you reckon? Three or four years, I think. I th no. Because now I th it's coming up to 2024. I think yeah. we met in 2020. No, right, we need to talk about how we met, actually. As in... <laughs> <laughs> it was, it, was it at a boozy brunch? I fear it was. It was at Clapham Blood Clark Common. Is that when we met? That's when we met. We first met at Clapham Common. Yes. Because we went on holiday the next day. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so basically, we knew each other through a mute No, through Jack, through a mutual Through mate. Jack. Through yeah. Jack, right? And Jack was going on about you for ages. And he was like, you two need to meet, the world is going to implode. Yeah. And I was going, oh, 100%. And but, like, Lord we just knows never got around is. to it. No. And then, obviously, we ended up in Clapham Common with the gays. With the gays on a summer's day, on a clammy summer's day. On a 40 degree <laughs> summer's day. We were there. And we were knocking back the, um, what do you call them? The, the tinnies. The tinnies. <laughs> What do you call them? What, what do you call them? What do you call them? <laughs> Bloody hell. I just malfunctioned there. I completely <laughs> forgot what tinnies was. Yeah, yeah, I thought you were AI then. Yeah, yeah I, I am. Lord knows. <laughs> we're knocking back the tinnies. Yeah. And we... I think you turned up late, obviously. Yes. It wouldn't be you if it wasn't. So it was me, Cameron and Jack just sunbathing on a pride towel. Yeah. <laughs> obviously. 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 If you've ever been to Clapham Common as well in the summertime, Fucking hell. It is wireless festival. It is. It's a, it's a hot bath. Yes. Blood bath full of topless gays. We wouldn't have it any other way. Uh, there's nowhere I'd rather be on a no, summer's really day. really not. Other there really there. isn't. And it's just like Renaissance Beyonce <laughs> being played on repeat. As in every... Like, when you walk down that strip, there's so many different speakers playing. Yeah. All, but they're all pop girly songs. Yeah, but it is a strip, though. It, it is like, a strip. It's like Magaluf strip. <laughs> It really is. <laughs> yeah, it's really good. It's but we met there. We did. And we got absolutely smashed, right? Yeah. Rightly so. We were so gone that we day. We were so gone. Uh, and basically, on that... We, so we had known each other for all of what? Four three, minutes. Yeah, literally. I was about to say three hours, but literally, <laughs> it doesn't count because we were unresponsive for most of it because we were so far. Yeah, as in, it, it was chaotic. And we decided that day... You'd already... I think you was already going to Portugal. Yeah, so we were going to... Me and Jack had a flight booked to Portugal for the next day. Yeah. And literally, that's how much we <laughs> vibed on that day, knowing each other all of four minutes. We four went... Four minutes. Oi, Georgia, book a flight to Portugal. As in... Me, me and Cameron, because it was me and Cameron, and yeah. we were all drunk, and Jack was like, oh, we're going to Portugal tomorrow, and we are going, oh, we're well jealous. Yeah. And then you two went, why don't you just book it I now? Went, I went, don't be a weirdo, book your flight then. And we went, all right, literally, <laughs> I don't even remember doing it. No. I literally went on my phone, we booked the flight. Yeah. We went, ad so you were going the next day, but they didn't have any the next day, because oh, obviously yes. it was probably, what, like, 1am at this you point. You were literally sitting on the grass at Clapham In Clapham the pitch black. It. In pitch black booking Everyone your flight. Everyone was there. <laughs> at 1am, I'd booked yeah. this flight. So then the next morning, I've woken up and I've said, to, I've looked at Cameron, I've, you know, I've woken up, yeah. out, looked at him and I said, yeah. we've booked a flight last night. You and said, he's oh, gone, fuck, we're going Portugal. We're going to Portugal. We had to literally pack that day. And then you guys had already got there and we were staying with your friends, yes. Rob yes. and Matt um, and Mark, but we'd never met them. Had you not met them either? We'd never met Rob and Mark and we were staying in his mum and dad's house when we got there. <laughs> oh, my God, yeah. And I was like, and Jack was going, are we fine, are we fine? And we were going, oh, my God. Anyway, we got on the flight 
and it was up. fine. It was brilliant. It, we had such a good time that day. It was do you absolutely remember? chaotic. So basically, if that doesn't set the seed of our chaotic friendship, if that doesn't sum us up, yeah, I don't know what does. I think this is the first time I've ever uh, spoke to you sober. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I'm she is like this. I don't know who you are. I don't know if we've got but nothing to well awkward. <laughs> This is shit, got nothing to talk about. This is shit. No, well, we have done one wholesome thing. We've been in a walk once, I reckon. We went, once or twice. We've been to Richmond a couple of times. Yeah. At a coffee. We are real just chaos sisters, I think. We are. Yeah. We gravitate towards each other because our friendship groups are so chaotic and we're the only girls in that, realistically, in that, yes. in our friendship group scene at that time. Well, because it was just all the gays. It was all the gays. And you were cosplaying as a straight girly. The fact that I was straight when I met you is absolutely odd. No, we, it's, it's, it's frightening. It doesn't make any sense. Guys, okay, so yeah, so when I met G, she was cosplaying as straight. <laughs> I had no. The thing is, I had no idea. Like at the time, the closet I had was no glass. idea. The closet was glass. Yeah. <laughs> but if I didn't have a clue. No. And it's it's frightening to think. Like when you think about it realistically. And I remember your your good friend. Because I'm laughing because you always say good friend. Yeah, good friend. But um, Ash is really good mate. We'd kissed a few times. Um, it was a fella. He really like like fancied me and was like to ash i really want to take georgia out yeah and all this and you were going and i think you kind of knew that knew that i was steering towards being a lesbian and you were going oh i don't know and you were going <laughs> i think she's just figuring herself out i don't know if she likes girls or fellas <laughs> do you know what though it's so weird because i don't remember it i don't remember it happening yeah i feel it like was it just came out like, of nowhere came out of nowhere and then one day everyone was just like yeah, obviously G's a lesbian. That obviously. makes so much sense. Yeah, because I've never really had a serious boyfriend. No, and every time we spoke about boys, it was frightening. It was like, oh, did you see his Willie? And you were like, ah! <laughs> I was like, Will, as in, like, Willie's actually scared me. Yes, I remember you saying that, that to me. To, they used to be in front of me, and I'd go, I don't know what to do with this. Or no. I'd be like, that, it's actually frightening. Yeah. And I remember my friends being like, you know, that they love they love it, and like, they'd have, yeah, they'd have yeah. orgasms left, right, and centre, and I'd be going, I've never had one of them. <laughs> I remember this. It was absolutely odd. But what made me realise was I went out, um, I went to GAY. Again, I've been in, in yeah. gay clubs since I was 18. The closet was glass. I don't know yeah, 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 how yeah. I didn't realise. Anyway, I went to GAY. I was standing in the queue. I saw this girl in front of me and I said to my friend as a joke, I went, oh my God, she's fit. And I was like literally <laughs> thinking, oh my God, she's unreal. And I was, and it was absolutely odd. But I literally saw her and thought, I'm going to get with her tonight. I just know it. And yes. I'd never been with a girl before, but there was just something Had in me. Not? I could feel it in me. Yeah, I could feel it brewing. <laughs> I could feel it in me. Um, no, I had no idea. I've never had an inkling I ever. I can't believe that. Neither can I. And that's what why I d it took me a long time to come out after realising, because I was like, I must know who right. I am. I was so confused, because I, I was 22 when I realised. Like, yeah. most people know at school they're 16 and they're looking at their maths teacher going, oh, God. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> He's got a nice piece of kit on him, hasn't he? Do you he? know what I mean? Yeah. Or like, if it's a woman you're thinking, like, you kind of know. Because I think even I got with girls more than you did at that stage. Yeah, you did. I did. You did, and I remember being like, oh, I didn't know, and you're going, no, I'm just like... I, I just fluid. said, God, I love, I love lips in a good-looking girl on yeah, night out. I said, why not? Just a bit of fluidity. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So there's nothing wrong with that, but I was genuinely like... Anyway, so I was saw this girl in the queue and then we got in the club and she kept coming over to me and I was getting like really nervous and I was going, oh my God, and she kept trying to talk to me and I kept going, yeah. <laughs> so I thought she was trying to kiss me and she was going, I'm only trying to talk to you. I'm like, chill out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, we ended up um, getting like kissing that night, got each other's Instagram and then we were together, but then I wasn't ready to come out. So, I, so we ended up splitting up. Right. So then I was like, okay, I need to figure out if I'm bi or I'm... Yes. That, so then that's when, me, that's when you come into play. That's, that's when we slept together. <laughs> that's when you come into play. That's when you come into play and we had a night of fashion. We had a night of fashion. No, yes, I do remember this narrative. Because I, um, yeah, and then I was... Because you still found... But th I do think that's, like, it's so nice that we all went, th went through that whole, like, stage of exploration with you. Because I remember being, like... 100%. I was about to say, you've been there through most yeah. of my eras. Through and all, all and all my eras. girlfriends. I've yeah. like, had three. I don't know why I'm acting like I've had loads of girlfriends. No, you've been clean. Yeah, but think about it. You <laughs> I've been clean gay yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> I only turned gay four minutes ago. Yeah. You've been cleaning up since <laughs> then, if you think about it. Realistically, I have. Yeah, you it's really chaotic. have. But we've been through all your eras with you, which I actually think is so nice. It that, is really nice. That's how... 
coming out is for so many people, I imagine. Like, you're trying to figure out... Yeah, it is. you're trying to figure out what you like. Yeah, where am I here? And not that you have to say that you're anything. You're not anything. No, you don't have to put a label on it. Yeah. I, think, I don't know why I think I just felt the pressure because I was so confused and I was going... Yeah. I was, it was absolutely odd. So then when we broke up, I thought, OK, I'm just going to try and chat to a fella again, see if I'm bi. Yeah. Because I was like... Because I still found them attractive. And yes. I still do now, but I, now I know that I don't... It's in, not in that you way. You don't want to clap. I can appreciate... Yeah. I can appreciate <laughs> a, a masculine fella. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. No, yeah. a, a nice-looking fella. But, um... Because yeah. I remember we had loads of chats where I'd be... Where you would say... No, see, oh, I'm talking to a boy again. And yeah. I'd go, oh, fuck. And, and I'd go, going, what's going on? Yeah, what's going on? How are you feeling? And you'd be like, no, I do fancy him, but I don't know, I don't know. The thing is, I think I would, I fancied them, but then when it got down to the, the business... To the nitty-gritty. The nitty-gritty, I was absolutely not enjoying it. No. <laughs> <laughs> you are having a really bad time. I was having a really awful time. And I never... And, yeah. And I just always thought, oh, I've not met the right person. Yeah. But, so anyway... I ended up speaking to this boy um, who was lovely, couldn't be more respectful. Every straight girl's dream. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Every very respectful, <laughs> lovely, lovely fella. And yeah. I remember just being like, this ain't it. And then I remember sleeping together and I got in the shower and just burst into tears and thought, never again. <laughs> but not in a horrible no. way. He's, he was brilliant, right? Yeah, but just, just for me. You just had to wash the dick off. I had to get it off. Yeah. And I thought, I just want to be laying on. Some nice pieces. on some breasts. I don't want to be laying on a hard man's chest. Really? Is that yeah. what you realise? I, I just, I just knew there and then. I thought never again. And then, then, I, then it clicked, and I was like, I'm, I'm gay. Yeah. And then I was like, right, I'm gay now. He yeah. just went straight <laughs> to women. I thought, right, let's get out there. Were you just by that point? Were you just like, I'm so sure of it? Yeah. Wow. It was just like a switch that went off in my head. I was just like, we spent a lot. We'd spent some time together, and I was like, mm. no, I'm giving the benefit of the of the doubt, I was like, I need to, you know, explore this and try it. Mm. Um, and he was, I actually told him what was going on. He was so, like, understanding about it. Right. Um, but he was, he was a performer anyway, so he's kind of... Fine. ...round those um, queer people a lot. Yeah, yeah. So he was like, listen, like, you never be pressured to do anything. Like, yeah. well, you know, let's just explore it and see what happens. And mm -hmm. if that's how you feel, that's how you feel. So anyway, obviously, I ended up telling him and he was devastated. <laughs> yeah, but, on, but he was, um, he was very understanding. And I just said, look, like, I think I I'm definitely a lesbian. And he was just like, that's absolutely fair enough. Like, did he say? Did he say? Did he have an inkling, or was he just like, no, uh, I, no, he didn't. Uh, no, he didn't have an inkling. I think he was just like, he was just like, whatever floats your boat. Great. Do you know what I mean? Brilliant. But yeah, he did. I don't think he had an inkling. Well, maybe he might have, but he never said that to me. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Fair. Also, him on the group chat, she's definitely gay. <laughs> she's definitely a massive lesbian. <laughs> she's definitely a massive lesbian. <laughs> Won't even cuddle me other night. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit my in the sack. God, yeah. <laughs> Not shit in, <laughs> shit in the sack. Did you ever enjoy it? No. No. <laughs> Not once. And you I didn't but... ever enjoy it with, with lads? No. Because but... you're yeah, right, but I you just didn't thought... realise why. Yeah, and I always just thought, oh, I've not met the right person, or I'm right. too drunk, or... <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. You know, and it was always like... It was never like... I just felt uncomfortable. Yeah. And I was always... My face was always a bit like... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, just like struggle. To struggle city. And yeah. there, was nothing, there was never anything wrong with anyone that I slept with. No. It was, it was obviously me It just wasn't right. It wasn't it. Yeah, internally, be, my body was going, absolutely not. But I'd not figured it out. It hadn't linked to my brain yet. Yeah. It, but my body knew before I did. Yeah. yeah my mind telling me no. <laughs> my body. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, but did you... I don't even think I've ever spoken to you about this. Did you come out to your family? I did... But it was, yeah, I did with my second girlfriend. So, right. So, I'd, I was, uh, I'd seen a couple of girls before, but we would never really develop yeah. into anything. Um, and were you kind of like, hit me, yeah. You, yeah, Ash was there for all the eras. Yeah, She's, all the eras. She knows darling. all the girls. She knows all the girls. I know all the girls. Um, I know the roster. She knows the roster. I do know the roster. But, yeah, because I don't remember ever having the convo with you when you were like, yeah, I told my family. Or did, did you feel like you had to wait till it was something concrete? I thought that, but then what happened was I was basically at work at the time mm. and I was with said person. She was my girlfriend, but we hadn't put it anywhere or anything yeah. like that. And then I, my mum had fa FaceTimed me just for a catch-up. And she was like, oh, who's that lovely fella that's commented in your picture? And it was my said girlfriend's at the time, brother. <gasps> and he was and he was gay anyway. She was going, who's that lovely looking fella? He's commenting in your picture saying, you, like, you, you know, look beautiful. You look beautiful. Yeah, and yeah, she's yeah. going, I've gone in his Instagram. He's lovely looking. 
and I hung up the, and I was going, I, I literally, inside of me, I just thought, I can't, like, lie to her anymore. I was like, I need to tell her, but yeah. I didn't want to say it to her face. So I was like, oh, mum, I've got to go, I've got to go, because I was at work. And I just text her. So literally, my coming out was me texting my mum going, don't want to freak you out, but I am now talking to girls, dating girls. <laughs> I don't want to freak you out, Barbara. Don't want to freak you out. She just put back, OK, kiss. <laughs> OK, kiss. OK and a kiss. Fine. Well, I thought that, and then she rang my sister and went, oh, my God, she went, do you know George is dating women? <laughs> <laughs> and then my si I think I'd, my sister already knew, like, a couple of weeks before, because I kind of told her, but right. I, like, I don't want to tell Mum, because she might have an aneurysm. Yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah. I just thought, oh... Uh, because you never know how your parents are going to no. react. But also, I think it was a shock because, realistically, I'm, I look, I'm a Fiat 500 girly. Yeah, I'm not yeah, really yeah, yeah, yeah. A gay aesthetic, but I don't think that's really a thing anymore anyway. No, it's but not. I'm a small town Maidstone girly. Yeah. You know, always ha I, I have had one boyfriend, I think. It's still a big thing because obviously we take it for granted that we, we are literally surrounded by gays and queer yeah. people all the time because 100%. that is that is who our mates are so like yeah in my head i'm like i could say tomorrow i identify as a dinosaur and everyone be like go off that sleigh absolutely but we don't like i i forget that the rest of the world doesn't exist like that they really don't and because obviously she's a um, a Maidstone mum right, right. and a small town girly. Yeah. She and I'd obviously been in London for like three or four years, and you know, like you said, all of my yeah, friends yeah, yeah. We went to drama school, all that jazz. Yeah. So she was literally like, I. She was like, couldn't believe it, but now she loves it. She does really. You know, she doesn't care, but also, I don't think she ever cared. I think it was just genuinely the shock. Yeah. Because she wasn't expecting it. But then when I came out to my school friends, well, my school friends actually just saw it on Instagram. I told Holly, obviously, Fine. which is my best mate I love um, from Holly home. So much. She's chaos. Yeah. Chaos. K K U. She's chaos. She's chaos. She's chaos. But we'll get on to her later. Yeah, we will get on to her. There's a story her. involved with all of us. I think we have so many stories. Uh, basically, I just want to take you guys on a trip down memory lane of our friendship because oh, there's mom, actually mate. first of all, since we're on this topic, when you were in your cosplay straight era, <laughs> was actually really fun because it was a scream. We used to always, you know what the dating pool, I don't care what anyone says, the dating pool in London is tiny, it's minuscule. It's hell. Everyone's dated everyone at this point. Yeah, it's worse than the lesbian gay scene. It's like even, Do you think? even the straight scene, I'm like Yeah. Literally, everyone has dated everyone. And I remember I used to match people on Hinge or whatever, and then, so there, <laughs> there was <laughs> one particular... No, you're actually going to die. There was one particular time, right? I've matched this boy on Hinge. Good-looking boy. We followed each other on Instagram. <laughs> I look at our mutual mates, and it says, you. And yeah. I thought, ah. Oh. And then, you know, you've got to do the, the girly background check to be like, have you shagged him? Yes. Yeah. Because if so... Wouldn't touch him with a bar barge pole, that kind of thing, right? Yeah. So I've gone, oh, Georgia, what's what's going on with this lad? Like, I see you follow him. We've just matched him. We're chatting, this, that, and the other. She went, this fella. <laughs> 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 what? You hadn't done anything with him, had you? We'd never him. met. No, you'd never met. We had never met. So we basically, <laughs> I think we were chatting... Maybe 2019, I want to say. Yeah. Or maybe like lockdown. I can't really remember when it was. I think it was lockdown. It was. Maybe lockdown. Because you had a lot of time in your hands. I had a lot of time in my hands. <laughs> and obviously we'd matched on Hinge or whatever. Yes. I don't, not really sure. And we'd never met, but in lockdown, obviously, everyone's bored. So we were just, we were chatting. And I remember saying to him, oh, like, what are you doing today? And he was like, oh, I'm skipping. <laughs> And this, uh, he's a good skipper. He's like, a, yeah, he's a, he's a fitness budget. Yeah, right? you know when lads Complete take opposite skipping to me. Yeah, <laughs> yes. <laughs> you know when lads take skipping really seriously. Like you either skip or you don't skip. Yeah. Like you either skip like a boxer, like Anthony Joshua. Yeah, like that. doing all the tricks. Yeah, or you can't skip at all. There's no in between. This fella knew all the tricks of the skipping trick. <laughs> Yeah, he did. He was really good. And he would send me a video of him working out and skipping in lockdown. I'd be like, oh, sick. And then I was like, OK. And then I ended up ordering a skipping rope from Amazon next day delivery. <laughs> being like, I'm going to send one back. She said, no, you said I skip too. <laughs> And then she, I went, oh, yeah, I do skip it too. And she then went, I send me a And he went, oh, I'll send, I went, I'll send one tomorrow. I'm in my pyjamas now. I was at Sean Amazon, like, next day, prime. 
And then it, it turned up. And then I ended up setting out a fitness mat in the garden <laughs> on the grass. <laughs> and it's just me in workout gear from when I was at Musical Theatre College, which was when Jesus died. That yeah. was so long ago. Yeah. <laughs> and I was bulging out of this bra and leggings. <laughs> um, and I was sent him a video of, him, of me skipping. The and video he went, is so funny. And it's not good skipping at all, as in it was one of those with two jumps in between. Yes, like, yeah, yeah. It yeah, wasn't yeah. like, and he was literally doing all the... <laughs> doing wah, 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 it was like, like doing up like all sorts of yeah. gymnastics <laughs> and anyway so then when you sent me that picture of him I went I've got a story to tell you and then I sent you the skipping videos when we've never met it but, killed me but I went we've never met but this is him skipping and you just lost it she literally went I went go for it yeah 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 firstly you went green light go for it you could absolutely go there never met the lad I went oh perfect she went but I did tell him that I was a skipper I went wait what George has sent me this video of her skipping right and what's so funny about the video is one the skipping shit <laughs> the skipping awful we could probably insert it i've got it, if we, want yeah, it. we should insert, we'll insert it. it we should insert we'll it. insert the video but not for, of him of making yeah for the viewing pleasure yeah of the audience but what was so funny was all you hear is just you know <laughs> obviously you can hear a pin drop it's nothing going on outside you, you put the exercise mat out on the balcony so all you can hear is just <laughs> And because it's not good, it's you awful. know, normally if you heard him skip, it'd be like, it'd be like, oh, wow, 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 wow. yeah, yeah with like, all the whips. <laughs> <laughs> the it audio is, is killing the me. The silence is deafening. And it's just the two jumps in between because I couldn't do it like a jump. It was yeah. like, yeah, yeah, boom, boom. boom. It was yeah. absolutely the, frightening. The, the lag was hell and horror. The lag. I mean, I don't know if we, we should, we'll probably edit this out because I don't know whether it's appropriate, but he did send us the same. Yes! No, 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 we, no, we, we're not it's editing not, this it's out. Not, it's not I, I wanna... It wasn't a nude. Was it not a nude? He had his pants on. Oh, he did have his <laughs> pants on, yeah. Yeah, that pissed me off as well. <laughs> he recycled... He recycled his nudes. <laughs> well, so... he sent me a pic. Yeah. And then, uh... Many moons ago, by the way, you were chatting to him... Yeah, before, yeah. In lockdown. Moons. Yeah, many moons. <laughs> many moons ago, before you realised you like breasts. Uh, yeah. Many moons ago. And then I started chatting to him, must have been a year and a bit later, and he's recycling the same nudes. As in, well, we, I think I was with you and I saw it and I went, hang on a minute. I went, yeah. And I still have the chat up and I literally went on our media and I went, that's the same one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I thought, He's like, got a universal picture. Yeah. He's just sending it to anyone and everyone at this But point. I said, you can't be doing that, because that means that you look like a troll now. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? If you're still reusing a lockdown pic... <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, because it wasn't that long ago, really, when you was chatting to him, I don't think. No, I said, if you're still using a lockdown pic from a year and a half ago, I dread... Uh, is it Shrek now? <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Dread to think. I dread to think. But you can't do that. You can't. No, I... No I, one I, looks like how they did in lockdown. I've had... <laughs> I'm, I'm a completely... I've had, like, 75 different glow-ups since then. I've had 55 litres of Botox <laughs> since then. In it. Are you joking? <laughs> As in, my, totally well, my right. forehead's only just started to move again. I've got to get, get it redone. It's yeah, hell. same. When I get mine, I, I must admit, I hate fresh Botox. Yeah. I feel like, can girlies, like, sympathise with this? Trying to lift your eyebrow up to do your eyeshadow. Oh, fresh Botox is hell. I'm I, I look like, like Janice Dickinson. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm like this. <laughs> Oh, straining. Yeah, mine only looks good now. Now it's set for a bit. Yeah, you look brilliant. Do you think? Yeah. The lighting's nice, though, isn't it? The lighting's absolutely... Um, as in, if I walked in here with no makeup, I'd look like Cameron Diaz. Yeah, you would. Yeah, <laughs> Lord knows you do. <laughs> Lord knows. <laughs> right, OK. Memory lane. Yes. OK, we're going to tell another story. Oh, my mate. And I know what one this is. So, me and you were at Freedom one night. Uh, and well, I know what this is. You know what this is? Yeah. Dula Peeps. Dula Peeps. Dula Peeps. Liam Payne. Yeah. <laughs> was it Liam Payne? It was, it Liam, was Payne. Liam Payne. It was Liam Payne. Um, so basically, me and G are out in Soho, as we always are. We as... basically should be paying rent. Absolutely. We, we, <laughs> at Wardour Street. We keep Wardour Street afloat. We do, single-handedly. <laughs> single-handedly afloat. Yeah. So we're in freedom with all our gays. And the thing is... Me and you, we love a bit, we love a bit of freedom. Yeah. But I think our uh, speak for yourself. I hate it there. You hate it. <laughs> but I still go. I still love it. I'm always there. But at the time, I think we'd 
kind of always done what everyone else wanted to do and we just wanted yes. to have a bit of a girly time just me and you yeah we wanted we? to go off and just be a bit mischievous us two we did because well i i think i was bored and i went i, I want to go home yeah and i went you are not i went look at me you are not doing you went, look at me now. I said, look at me now where have we got to go i said where's the next venue because you're not going home yeah i was at the peak of Tom tomfoolery at this point you was and i remember we were sat um upstairs just on a table and yeah because everyone was downstairs boot and i just went i'm gonna go and you went you dare i said you dare you went have i got a treat for you yeah because i've never been that no, was my, that was that my was first, first time, time. Right, so as you lot know, the box is my holy place of worship. <laughs> Ash lives at the box. I do live <laughs> at the box. So I said to her, listen, let's get out of here. We'll do a French exit. We're not saying bye to anyone. No one's going to miss us because everyone's doing their own thing. Yeah, everyone's lips in by this point. Yeah, the dancery, it doesn't matter. Yeah. So we said, we're going to cut, go to the box and have our own night and, and finish this thing. Yeah. <laughs> right? So we went to the box. But I think what happened was you were like, oh, I'm because you were a dance dancer there yes. still and you were like what we're gonna do is we're I gonna still dance in there yeah you were like i think so because you were like i'm gonna slip in the back and say i'm gonna go to my locker and get my costume yeah so then i was thinking they're gonna think i'm a dancer as well so I'm, yes yeah that's what happened and they did you slipped in the back they thought i was a dancer as well <laughs> bearing in mind i went to musical theater college but i was an actor mover if you know you know an actor mover i was an actor mover <laughs> is that what they call it an actor mover well yeah it's kind of like a nice way of saying you're the really good at went... acting but you you're you yeah, you've got two left feet, you've got it? two left feet, right? Yeah, bury that. <laughs> An actor mover, an actor, uh, mover. yeah. And you were gassed, I remember. We went, it we slipped through the back, and I was going, Oh my god, they're all gonna think I'm a dancer. And you went, Oh god, bloody hell, they think I'm a dancer, <laughs> yeah. As in, and then we got in, and the security yeah. guard saw you and went, Right, we need he obviously thought you were working, yes. He went, Right, we need you two on that table over there, yeah, yes, he did. He thought we were working, and I went. All right, All right then. don't have to ask me twice. And obviously, I'm, we're both drunk. Yeah. I'm behind you going, I'm following you. Bear in mind, it's my first time at the box anyway. I'm overwhelmed. Yeah. We get to this table. It's the sensory overload already, the place. Duilla Peeps. Yeah. <laughs> and Liam Payne. Yeah. I've nearly collapsed. Yeah. <laughs> I have nearly absolutely collapsed. We've got to this table and just casually, we're sipping and pouring drinks with Dua Lipa and Liam Payne. And I literally looked at Ash and went, and I was gonna go home. I feel like a Kardashian. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I said. Because they were drinking that vodka that looked like what the Kardashians drink. And that out of... Y yes, out of the that, big, big, like... Um, the big, dark... Is it, is it like the Azul thing? <laughs> Sorry, it looks like I'm just drawing a knob with my hand and a what? That big Azul, like... Fancy, fancy drink, like yeah. alcohol that costs fifty-five thousand pounds for it, no reason. Eight in grand a sip. At this yeah, point. yeah, it's ridiculous. Yeah, and I remember, and this is normal. If you're at the box all the time, and because I work there, this is normal. Because it's normal behaviour. I know that now, but at the time, I could not believe my eyes. It was so funny, and all Georgia kept saying was. And to think I nearly went home. I would kept going, and to think. And to think. And what the funny thing was, I still had in my head that they thought I was a dancer, the security guard, because he was like, yes. you? And you were, you were stood up on the table twerking. Rucking, so obviously. So I'm, I'm literally like, right, I'm sat, I'm stood here, there's Dua Lipa. Dua Lipa. Dua Lipa. Dua Lipa. There's Dua Lipa, <laughs> Liam Payne, Ash is next to me twerking. I'm thinking... What am You're I going to do? You're thinking I've got to show up. I'm thinking I've got to dance because they think I'm a dancer. Yeah. And obviously, like I've said, I'm an actor mover <laughs> at Musical Theatre College. The only thing I can do well is teeth and tits, jazz hands, a kick and a pirouette. Yeah. Which you don't do that, in the that, box. But that's all you need, though. I think that's all you need in life. Well, I'm thinking, yeah, but for the box. <laughs> Uh, Probably yeah. not. Yeah. No one's doing that in the box. So I'm thinking I must have popped and locked. <laughs> yeah. I must have popped and locked. You did. No, as, you Because I do it as a joke. But I've as seen in, you do that. I must have been malfunctioning on the side and they're probably looking thinking what on earth has gone on with the box <laughs> workers like she's malfunctioning she must be ai they're right to letter to hr right the to letter to hr i think there's this random box girl star, yeah box staff have lost it box staff are malfunctioning <laughs> day by day no and i just remember thinking this is the most like unreal night of my life it was really good and i remember everyone it got to we were so cheeky as well we it was as if it was like this secret night that nobody knew we had because everyone at freedom has caught on not seen georgia and ash in ages like they where have are no they clue. they've messaged us 
being like, where are you two? We've gone, we can't say that we've gone to the box and snuck out and had this debaucherous night with <laughs> me and you. Because they're going to be in hell. Where that... you've been popping and locking to literal Dua Lipa and Liam Payne. <laughs> they're going to be in perpetual hell. That they yeah. Won't. They're going to have FOMO. Yeah, so we said, we're going to have to pretend like we were at Freedom the whole time. So we go back and meet all of our mates to get Uber home. Do you remember? No, they... So we went back to Freedom. Yes. And then they, we ended up, all of us, going to the box. Did we, we? all ended up in the box that night. As if we... So we came back and went again we all, as if we never went. Because you were like, you were like, I don't know if we're all going to get in because obviously we snuck in the back as if I was... Oh, yeah. As if it... I was, I was staff. <laughs> <laughs> as if I was getting a call set at me locker. Yeah. <laughs> but we ended up... I don't know how. I don't know if it was late or you saw... We all ended up going there. It was me, you... Jack, Cam, and I think John Wilde. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, someone fair. like that. That I makes think. sense. That is so. I'm thinking, how many hours are in this night? I know, oh, but yeah. I think I, but the box opens till what? Seven a.m. <laughs> no, till four. <laughs> till four. It, it well, feels like seven. Though. It feels like seven a.m. But it must, we must have left Freedom about midnight. Yeah, we must okay, have. that makes sense. And then we had a wild hour and a half. And I woke, remember woken up, woke, woken up, waking, waking up. up. I remember waking up the next day thinking. There's no way that's just happened to me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And to think. And to think. I nearly went home. And we just couldn't stop laughing for days because no. all I kept saying was, I was going to go home. I was going to go home. I and from that night it. on, me and Ash, well, yeah, that was joint it. in the hip. In 2021, our friendship group spent, we were in each other's pockets yeah, for the whole the year. Time. The all whole the year. time. The whole year. But I, do you know what? There's a moral of the story in that. That's never go home. <laughs> As in, never go home. Ne even if even if you're thinking, oh, do you know what? This no. is it. Something can always happen. Dua Lipa is always round the corner. <laughs> and so is Liam Payne. Absolutely. Yeah, never call it a night. And never. we, we, I mean, Lord knows we never do anyway. That's our biggest issue. And the fact that it could have been Dua Lipa crying in the toilet, like having a girly moment. Imagine us yeah. going to the loo, she's crying in there. Yeah. And I'm going, like saying to her, you know, don't let muck you off, darling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That could have even happened. Yeah, th it didn't. I mean. It didn't, but it could have. It could have. Yeah. And it still might. And it's still the thing. Listen, this weekend... <laughs> the world's our oyster. <laughs> yeah, it is. The world's always been our oyster, though, when we go out. It has. But I feel like at the box, it really... Anything can happen in the box. It is. Do you... Well, I, saw, I saw you there last week. You don't even remember seeing me. Guys, base. Do you know what? No, let's chat about it. I think I got spikes. <laughs> As in, I saw Ash... And I went over, had a full-on conversation. There was a lot of us as well. Yeah. Well, I can't we just believe there was a event. lot of you. I don't remember I think you just come from a shoot or something. And I'd, we'd come from an event. Anyway, yes. we were all having a full-blown conversation. All right, Ash, yeah, yeah. All right. I'd say 20 minutes later, eyes glazed. She didn't know who anyone was. No. I don't remember seeing you there, though. It's such a shame. I know, because that's what... <laughs> Because when I got here today, I went, oh, you were like, oh, it's, I've not seen you since this. I went, no, I saw you the other night in the box. She went, oh, I don't think I did. No, I don't. Whoever you <laughs> saw, that wasn't me. That was that was not you. That was AI. Yeah. One million percent. A million percent. Do you know what? No, I'm almost certain I got... Do you know, nah, my toxic trait is <laughs> back in 50 straight tequila shots and then going, I've got spiked. <laughs> yeah, well, that, is, that is so you. I'm sure I did, though, because I'm never like that. I've never seen you like that. I've seen you. I've seen you in some states, but not like. But not that like was, that. That was unwell. I think As you in, might have been carried out. Yeah. No, I, I was carried out. Yeah. I, I couldn't move my limbs. <laughs> so you couldn't move your. You couldn't move your legs. No. Your legs weren't the, holding you up. Not at all. It got to the point where everything gave way yeah. and just concaved in, and I thought, oh no, like well, this but, ain't it. This ain't it. <laughs> this really ain't it. This ain't it, and it never will be. No. You. you You've got to be careful, though, because spiking is a thing, and I'm, I'm certain... It's either that or the... Or the, or the copious kids. amounts of tequila, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to we'll go We'll never with, know. We'll never know, and I'm going to go with spiked. <laughs> yeah, me, me that, too. That's what I'm going to go with. <laughs> I'm going to go with being spiked. Yeah. Um, do you remember the night? Oh, this story is hell. This story is hell, and I'm not going to name the names in this story. Do you remember the night I ended up back at yours... <laughs> With a well-known, <laughs> <laughs> with a well-known reality TV person, right? Very, yeah, very well-known reality TV, because they said person, yeah, didn't live that far from me. Uh, in fact, Down almost the in the same building. It, yeah, yeah, literally in the same building. Yeah, 
I'm not going to name the name, but you, I need to tell the story of what happened because I... Have, you have to have this. Yeah, yeah, I have to have this. I've never felt so hellish in my life. So imagine we're on this night out. We've... One of many. Yeah, one of 55,000. <laughs> He's come home with us, right? We've all yep. gone... Your house ended up being a, a, quite a, an afters spot. Our <laughs> house was... <laughs> A do. Yeah, it was... If there was a do going on, it was at us. It was at yours. Yeah. Right. So, I think a few of us came back to yours that night. Uh, yeah, the, yeah, it was a, an after situation. It was I a think. full after situation. Said <laughs> reality TV star has come back with us, right? We're doing whatever. It gets to the point where everyone starts to disperse. The night is... The, the night's getting a bit rotten by this point. I think yeah. People are starting to be like, do you know what? I'm calling it quits. I'm calling home. it. I'm calling it birds a night. Birds are tweeting. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> When birds are chirping, you think, oh, I've got, I've got, it's I've got to go. Yeah, I've, I've got, got to go. go. So, everyone's starting to disperse. I'm on the sofa with this lad. <laughs> we kind of look at each other and we think, we all know what's happening now. Do you know we what I mean? We all know what's going to go on. We all know what's going to go on. So, we all looked at each other and we thought, no, let's get to it. <laughs> let's get down to yeah. business. On your couch, by the way, on in our, your living room. Our couch has seen some awful sights. God, that couch needs dry cleaning to rust. That couch needs therapy. Yeah, it does. <laughs> it does. So, me, we, we've not even done anything mad, by the way. Like, we actually didn't chat. Yeah. Hanky panky at best. We were also in a state. So, we would do hanky panky. I know what's coming. Nah, 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 nah. Guys, when I tell you, I wish I could say it was to make the story so much better, but I can't. So, we've done Hanky Panky. He finishes. <laughs> he gets up in nothing but a wife beater vest, a white wife beater vest that had alcohol all down it, so it wasn't white anymore. He goes, right then, I better love you and leave you. <laughs> That accent gives it away. You maybe. When but that's I, not your fault. It's not my fault. I had to do an <laughs> accurate impression when I tell you I wanted to turn into sand. You literally, I will never forget the voice note that I received. I will it, never forget because I think I was either asleep or you maybe came up to my room and I, I was a goner. Oh, bear in mind, straight boy 101. Obviously, I didn't finish. When do we ever? Obviously, <laughs> so... yeah. That's why I'm a lesbian. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I might come and join you, mate. <laughs> because imagine finishing, getting up in nothing but a wife beat a vest and saying, right then, I'm going to love you and leave you. And the fact that he lived down the road, he could have he could have at least stayed for a cuddle and then he, gone and home in the morning. Do you not know, humour me for a minute? I uh, humour you for a couple of hours. It was probably five a.m. Yeah. Do you uh, know what I mean? You, you've got this far now. Birds are a chirping. Yeah. Just just spoon and that me voice for a is bit. Huge. He, you know. It was, oh, yeah, he yeah, He could have yeah. stayed and had a coach. Yeah, of course he could have. Yeah, <laughs> he just thought, not today. He said, not today. And I just thought, I want to disintegrate. But the minute... Well, you must have said, actually, I feel like you must have told us the mo that morning, the minute we heard it, because it's us, we, it, we didn't we let go of it for, year, for a whole apart. year. That was all we said for a whole year. Yeah, so I bet I'll be on leave you then. <laughs> <laughs> so then any time we were about to leave, we, we would honestly be on a random dinner, any time we hung out together, any time someone needed to exit the room, it was just, or right just, then, <laughs> I bet I'll be on leave you. We'd literally be sat down, and I'd go, I'd need a win, I'd go, <clears throat> right. <laughs> I better love you and leave you. And we would just go to pieces. It was. But it's, it's just one of those stories that's so niche because we can't name the person. I know. But it makes it so much more ridiculous. It the does. Na the narrative is so stupid. It's so stupid and also just an awful time for me, I think. <laughs> yeah, really awful. Not as awful. Not as awful as shit gate. Shit gate. Can I just say now, a PSA, if you have ever fancied Ash... <laughs> Don't right, <wa> Turn <laughs> it off. Blocker, blocker, blocker. This, turn this it off. This is the time to have a Kit Kat and have a, <laughs> a cup of tea. <laughs> if you've ever fancied Ash... Yes, yeah. It's the time to tune off. Yeah. So let's set the, <laughs> let's set this thing. As we've already discussed, my, our house was kind of the place where Tom Fooleries went on, the yes. parties went on in 2021. Um, we had... I wouldn't say it was a party. I'd say it was a gathering. Yeah. Of our our two friendship groups. Yes. And 
my, we got a noise complaint and my neighbours already wanted us dead at this point. Yeah. Like, they were absolutely sick to the point where there was one time we were all in New York and no one was even at the flat and they texted me saying, keep the noise down. I said, <laughs> not even there. We're not there. <laughs> that, did they really? Yeah, they did. Yeah, I mean, they like, hated you by that point. They hated us. But that Jack was actually staying in our house, Jack Rim. So I messaged him saying, you having a do? <laughs> you having a party? He went, no, I went, I'm in bed. I went, I've got a noise complaint. You, you having what? a do? <laughs> you having a do? Anyway, <clears throat> so we're all having a, we're, we're having a jolly up at all. Yeah. And we get the noise complaint and we think, right, our CBA being kicked out, we'd been there six months. And I thought, yeah. we want... Like, this is... We don't want to be kicked out. I mean, you were skating on thin ice at that point, weren't really you? Really skating so you on thin ice. you just thought, we need somewhere to live at the we end need, of the day. We need somewhere to live. Yeah. We need somewhere to rest our head of the night. Agreed. So we ended up going to our really good friend Dan's. Yeah. So we all ended up getting in a cab. But lo and behold, before we got in the cab, um, Ash obviously needed to drop the kids off <laughs> in, the, <laughs> in the loo. Right. So Ash had obviously... Adipo, yeah. we'd, all, we'd all left to go to Dan's. Yeah, so basically what happened was <laughs> I thought I'm wearing a little, a little, little skimpy outfit, obviously, it's me. Yeah, right? you're wearing one of these numbers, I think. Yeah, one of these numbers, like yeah. an all-in-one, right and tight. I've had, a, I've had a big dinner and I thought I've got to drop the kids off yeah. before I go out, otherwise it's a burden. Yeah, I'm carrying around a burden the whole night. I'm not going to feel myself, I'm not going to feel sexy. No. Nah. And I said, I need to go. You lot were waiting outside by the taxi. I thought, perfect timing. Yeah, and we were just like, oh, she's like doing a makeup or yeah, something. Yeah, yeah. We, they, we, they we were, were none, none the wiser. You were none the wiser. We were none the wiser of what was going you on. You were none the wiser of the fact that World War Three was occurring in your toilet at that stage. At this moment in time. But we, at that time, we didn't know the extent no. of what was going to happen. No. Nah. <laughs> so we get to Dan's, and that's another story in itself. Yeah. Oh, so God. we'll get back to that. Yeah. But anyway, we obviously the night happens. We've gone to dance. Me, Cameron, and Callum, who are our best, well, our really good friends, mm -hmm. by the way, who I lived with, ended up going back home. Yeah. We've woken up the next morning. Cameron's gone into the loo, <laughs> and he's seen that there's a poo in there, and he's gone, "Oh, it's all right. I'll just, you know, you flush it." And he went, "Oh my god!" And as he gone to flush it, the toilet started, the water started rising, rise up, rising up, and I, um, <laughs> and he was going, "The toilet's blocked. <laughs> toilet's blocked." And I was thinking, "Oh, it's fine." We'll, uh, I was going, "We'll just get a plumber." And he's going, no, no, no. He went, if we get a plumb, he was like, if the time the plumber comes, there's gonna, it's gonna be flooded the whole bathroom, there's gonna be poo everywhere. I'm going, and he's going, we're gonna have to fish it out. I'm going, no, 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 no. that's out my depth. <laughs> I'm going, let it flood. No, there's let, no let way. It flood. I was going, no, no, that's out my depth. Anyway, I have a photo on my phone where the three of us have all We'll got, insert it. We'll insert it. Yeah. The three of us have got like, Covid masks on, yeah. rubber gloves, <laughs> and I'm, I've got the Febreze. I said, look, I don't, I can't be involved unless I'm spraying Febreze. You know the fumigators in Monsters Inc. <laughs> <laughs> don't wear the big suits. That's what they look like. That's Bear in what mind, we look like. I'm none the wiser. <laughs> she's not. She's. Asleep. I've had a fantastic night out. <laughs> she ain't got a clue. I've not got a clue. I've got home. I've rested my weary head after a long night of shaking it. Yeah. I, I'm, I'm thinking nothing's gone wrong. I've had a fantastic night. Fantastic what about night. you? You're still asleep while this is all going on. I wake she... up to a message <laughs> from these lot in full fumigation suits, basically. In fumigation suits. And the message just read... We've just fished out your shit. With a Sainsbury's bag. With a Sainsbury's bag. Your human feces are currently in a Sainsbury's bag outside of our flat. And, and you I literally... thought, what's gone on? <laughs> You literally went, I'm in a parallel universe. What yeah. on earth has gone? You went, I've had a brilliant night. Yeah. I don't understand I said, it. I don't get it. I've had a really good night. How have you had such a shit night? As in, it was so funny. And to the point where as soon as Cameron went in for the... To grab it. Yeah. Oh. I was nowhere... To, I was supposed to be there doing the Febreze. I was nowhere to be seen. I thought, there's no way. <laughs> yeah, I'm no just way. a girl. There's I'm just no, a baby. I'm just a baby. There's no way. But the, the, that's how what made it so funny, because you had none the wise... You were none the wiser. No. He had, how he did got they a, do it? He, yeah, how did they do it for future? Yeah, yeah, yeah for future reference. So no. It was very much like a, like a dog poo situation. <laughs> because with... No, with a... You know how, like, you get a dog bag. So he put his hand in the Sainsbury's bag so it was covered. No. Grabbed it. Done that. I mean, you. 
not me a cocker spaniel. <laughs> no. <laughs> it makes sense. You love dogs. Yeah, it does make sense. <laughs> you could be a dog if you like. If you could reincarnate, it'd be. Free. I'd love to be. I'd love to be that. Exactly. So it makes a lot of sense. It makes a lot of sense. <laughs> and he just grabs it and then went. I'm not. I'm not entirely sure what Callum was doing. I think he might have been holding up the no, seat. No, gee. I was supposed I to be there with Febreze, and I said, look, now nah, this is at my depth. And it was just funny because you were asleep the whole time. I know. You woke up. And also, that was, a, that was a new level of friendship that we reached after that. It was. Because I remember you being the like, table. No, no. You, I remember you saying, don't say I don't love you. <laughs> I've just fished your shit out of the toilet. <laughs> and I thought... That's it. That's it. You're stuck with me for life. Yeah, as in, who can say that they're better mates than that? As in, yeah. Nobody. I'm, nobody. Oh, God, that story's hell. It it's is. really bad. But as soon as I knew that we were we were doing this, I thought, we have to talk about it. Yeah, we've got to talk. No, it's it's a shame that we haven't spoken <laughs> about it up until now. As in. But it was because it was a slight PTSD, to be honest. It is. And also, yeah, when you're <laughs> trying to clean up, it's not kind of the story you want out there. No, 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 I get it. But it's the scream. But it's so odd, every time, like, I did a pod, like, last month when I was talking about poo. Do you know what I heard as well? What? When you talk about poo, <laughs> viewers go down by, like, 20%. Me. Cut. <laughs> <laughs> Good afternoon, Riddlers. I've got a wild one for you. Right, so, Georgia, every week we do a little riddle. OK. Because my dad... Is oh, the Riddle King. I love your dad so much. I know. He's the best person ever. And he is called the Riddler on the Roof. So, <laughs> get ready for Riddler on the Roof. OK, let's go. We've got to solve Riddle. it together. What? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I'm thick. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> There's no... no, it's fine. It's joint effort. Right, where's it... Is it coming out of things? It's just going to come... He's, a voice Hello, of, he's the voice of God. Oh, my interesting God. interesting one for you today. <gasps> the more of me there is, the less you see. What am I? The more of me there is, the less you see. What? I love his voice so much, I can't The more it. of me there is, the less you see. Fog. Wow! Is it fog? If it is, I'm going to die. Oh, my God, G, is it fog? <laughs> the answer is darkness. <laughs> No, I'm that not being funny. That, that is work. the same thing. That is the, the same thing. The more of me there is. Darkness. I'm really proud of myself, actually. <laughs> I think fog's unreal. That's fog, a really clever answer. I think answer. he needs to redo that no, no, and change it to fog. <laughs> yeah, I agree. Oh, yeah, I, I agree. agree. Get fucked, Dad. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Ooh, really proud of myself. I'm really proud. The fact that we got it wrong and we're so chuffed, but that's... <laughs> <laughs> standard. Yeah, standard. I think that's brilliant from you. It's absolutely brilliant. Yeah, well done. I feel like I've been sat in this whole time like this, like a lady. Yeah, you are. You look um, like a Bridgerton girl, Lee. Eh? Do I? Yeah, you do. As soon as I open my mouth. A maid's yeah. going to Oh, yeah, and then it's sewage. Yeah, you're <laughs> sewage. <laughs> um, we also have a little segment in the show. Okay. Called Love Line. Brilliant. Right, so basically, I ask the girlies, the gays and the girlies, whoever wants to, voice note me their love, stories or troubles, whatever. Love it. And then we're going to just give our little two pence. <laughs> and, yeah, which is obviously not <laughs> worth anything. <laughs> not worth anyone's no, time. it's not worth anyone's time. But we're still going to do it. Yeah, of course we are. Yeah, of course we are. Brilliant. What are you like with advice, G? <laughs> I'm, re I'm actually really good at advice, but I can't take my own. Yeah, same. <laughs> Ooh, beep, beep, beep. That's the love line. Yeah, answer the phone. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. So I was on holiday with a new boyfriend in the Caribbean. Um, I was taking a nap upstairs, and um, he come frantically charging upstairs, waking me up. You've got to pack your bags. You've got to get out of here. I was like, what the hell has happened? What's going on? He then decided to tell me that he was married. <gasps> Decided to send a shot of our balcony to his wife to say, just enjoying here. In the shot is obviously a wine glass with my lipstick mark on. The wife's gone absolutely berserk thinking he's with a girl. She's booked mean? a flight on the way to the island. <gasps> and, yeah, I had to pack my bags and he nah. me into a nice hotel. Obviously, he apologised. <laughs> I'm going crazy. Bare minimum. Married, yeah. Obviously, and I've just... Anyways, he <laughs> booked me into another hotel in 
continued to tell me that he wanted to still see me nah. and that, you know, his wife, they're not really married and all this bullshit. I'm like, listen, she's seen a wine glass with red lipstick on. Chief of Maidstone? On her way to oh, the I think, I think, think this is me. Yeah, parallel married, universe. You idiot. <laughs> um, I blocked him and wrapped up a huge minibar. Bill on Good his credit card. Good girl. And I also upgraded my flight on the way home on his credit card to business. It's only home. right. I love it. I would just cut off. <laughs> yeah, the end. See ya. The end. At the end. I As love in, her. I love her. I, that, that is you. She sounded like a mainstone galley. As soon as I answered the phone, I thought, hang on a minute. Yeah. Is, is, that, this, is this my long lost sister? Is this, is this me? <laughs> we separated at birth. I need to see a like, birth certificate. I agree. Point. First of all, the nerve. The the nerve. The audacity. That is absolutely odd. To send... So so he's taken the other woman away on holiday. He's taken his mistress on to, to the Caribbean of all places. That's what I'm thinking. He's At not just going to go off to Paris on a Eurostar. He's gone Caribbean. At least go Barcelona. In it. You, you know, something close to home simple. Yeah. Caribbean. This is... This I is, can't believe that. No, neither. I can't believe that. And the fact that he's he's trod he's trod he's, he's trod he's put himself in it because he's taken the picture and obviously he's obviously stupid. He's not careful. No, no, no. Because who would in their right mind would take a picture with two wine glasses with lipstick on it? Yeah, only a massive rascal. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> at that point. And the fact that he was like, oh, okay, I'll book you another hotel and apologise. Bare minimum. Bear in mind though, his actual missus. Is on her way to the Caribbean. Probably with a gun in her purse. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One million She's percent. probably loaded, mate. <gasps> She's got a bulletproof vest on. She's got her own gun. Yeah, 100%. She's, like, as it, if I was that... I'm not surprised that she... And she's ready for war. Yeah. Would you do that, though? Uh, there's no way. If I thought my man, my scumbag of a man, was in the Caribbean on the islands being an island gal with a mistress. If that was me, I do would... Do you think I'd get on a flight to the Caribbean? You're having a laugh. I would do the opposite and be like, right, OK, what can I... What can I fuck up here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What, I would, yeah. like, sell the house, like, <laughs> make him homeless, like, yeah, all, yeah, his stuff, yeah. all his stuff on the street, so when he gets yeah. back, the doors are locked. Yeah, what can I booby trap on home turf? Yeah, all his toilet brush in the loo, like... Yeah, 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 yeah. That's what I do. His toilet brush on your faces. <laughs> <laughs> on my poo, then fish it out. <laughs> yeah, as in... But she was obviously acting on emotion and she was ready for war, so she's obviously gone to kill them both. To the Caribbean, though. Gee, do you know how long but that is? It's so long, because I, th I feel like you'd be angry. Then by the time you got off the flight, you'd be like, I'm I feel all right now. now. Yeah, yeah. I feel all right now. <laughs> you'd still be upset, but you'd be in the sad stage. Yeah, crying. yeah, yeah. You'd be like, well, I've been taken for absolute idiot. I want to cry into a tub of Ben and Jerry's. But what I and think... you're in the Caribbean. But what I think the mistress did was absolutely iconic, as in... Yeah. Running up the bar tab, only right. Yeah. Cost him 18 grand in Grey Goose. <laughs> I agree, yeah, yeah, Only yeah. right. One million percent. First class on the way home, again, yeah. another 18 grand. Bougie queen. It's only right. Another 18 grand. <laughs> another 18 grand. He's blocked. <laughs> yeah. And she's had a free holiday at the end of the day. Obviously, it's yeah. heartbreaking for her because she didn't know she was he was married and maybe she was in love. But at the end of the day, if you spin it, she's had a free holiday to the Caribbean. I, yeah, I she's agree. She's flown first class and she's got absolutely off her tits. <laughs> yeah. In a, in a hotel room in the Caribbean. Who's bothered? Who's bothered? It's the wife I feel sorry for, obviously. I agree. No, but do, do you know what? Mistress has actually had a really good time. Yeah, Mistress, mistress is going off. Yeah, she's going... Well she's done to off. her. Well done to her. Well, I think we're done, Bob. Oh, my God. We've been God. talking shit for so long. I know, and I, we can't believe it. As in, we just said what time we're on. We've yeah. been there about four hours. Yeah, Can I say yeah. that? I mean, 50 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> um, we're also going to some carols now, aren't we're we? We're going to go watch Jack Remington sing at a church. We're going... Some mulled wine. Yeah, we're going to Christmas carols, which is going to be chaotic because us stepping into a holy place of worship, we're just going to burst into flames on site. As in, I don't even know if I'm going to get in. <laughs> <laughs> it's not, it's not ideal at the door. No, I think as soon as my foot hits that holy carpet, yeah, I'm going to burst into ash. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Same. We're going to be um, bags of ash at the door. We are <laughs> just bags of ashes singing carols. As in. Oh, Bob, thank you so much for coming. I've Come absolutely here. loved it. I love, I love you. you. I love oh you, darling.
It's brilliant. Mwah. <laughs> Guys, thank you so much for another episode of Antics with Ash. Oh, she is my absolute queen. I love her so much. That episode was a scream. Like, comment, subscribe if you're watching. And if you're listening, please leave me five stars. I beg. Tell your mum, tell your dad, tell your sausage dog. I don't care. Love you so much. Mwah. <laughs>